Now, hearts. How do plants like a cactus and animals like a camel live in such hot conditions? Give two reasons each. So, we have seen that the vegetation, plants or animals in desert region is very scarce. We can see only some specific kinds of plants there like the cactus. And very few animals like a camel live in the desert region. So how is it possible for the plants like a cactus and animals like a camel live in a desert? We need to give up two reasons each. So what are the reasons? See, animals and the plants in desert regions have developed different ways of adaptation to survive in the extreme temperature and the lack of water. So these two are the two common features of deserts, water, extreme temperature, lack of water, right? Extreme temperature, lack of water are two major problems that we can find in the desert regions, isn't it? Yes. Now, these animals and the plants, the plants like a cactus or a bubble, okay, and uh, animals like a camel, rattlesnakes or uh, kangaroo rats, right? So these animals have developed different types of adaptation. Different types of uh, adaptation. Adaptation means what? Yeah, some changes in themselves which is not seen with other plants and animals, right? And that is how they are able to survive in the extreme climatic conditions of a desert. So how do the plants adapt themselves? Many plants go very deep in search of water. They have thick fleshy stems in which they store the water. The, speed, the leaves are in the shape of spines, reduce the transpiration. So when we discussed uh, uh, cactus in the lesson, I've told you cactus are such kind of plants which have got a very long root system. So their roots can go farther and deeper in search of water. Okay, so cactus plants have got a such kind of a root system which can go very farther and deeper in search of water. And whatever water they bring up, they store as a gel kind of a stuff in the stem itself. Okay, so cactus do not have leaves they have stems. That stem is actually in the shape of a leaf. Okay, so they store the water in a thick fleshy stems and their leaves are converted into thorns. Cactus have thorns, no? Right. So why these leaves are converted into thorns? One, thorn gives them protection from the animals who are always in search of water. Two, it uh, reduces uh, transpiration. Transpiration means water. Yeah, evaporation of water from plants is called a transpiration. Okay, so we know plants absorb a lot of water from the soil, right? They absorb a lot of water from the soil and uh, that is actually traveling through different parts of the plants, through the branches, to the leaves, isn't it? Where uh, these plants are living in extreme temperature. This water will get evaporated from the leaf also. There are very small holes called the pores. Okay. So, if a leaf is flat, it will have more such pores and this water will get transpired through the pores. Right. But if a leaf is in the shape of a spine, then it will have very few holes. There won't be much transpiration. So most of the plants like the cactus that live in the desert region, they have three specialities. One, yeah, a root system which can go very deep and farther in search of water. Second, thick fleshy stem. Third, yes, thorny leaves. Right? Now, what about animals? See, tortoises, foxes, snakes, etc. spend their days napping in the burrows and creep out at night. So some animals, what do they do? Like a turtles or a fox or snakes, they come out of their burrow only during the night. 
What is the speciality of nights and deserts? Yes, days are very hot, nights are very cold, isn't it? Nights are very cold, it's not hot. So, these kinds of animals like a tortoise or a foxes or the snakes you can easily withstand the cold temperature but not the hot temperature. Okay, so during night time, they come out and uh, they hunt during that time. First thing. Second, animals like a snake get water from the prey they eat. So the fox or the snakes, they eat other animals, right? They eat other animals. So when they eat other animals, the, the liquid, the fluid, the water in the body of the animal gets into their body. Okay, because we eat the food and for water we drink water, isn't it? Isn't it? And these animals need not drink any water because the water that is already there, either in the, in the form of any body fluids, blood or some water that is in its stomach will convert into their body water. Okay, so they get the water from the prey they eat. Then animals like the camels have a thick fur on the top of the body. It prevents evaporation, exasperation, right? There, it can also store water for many days, right? So most of the animals come out into the hot desert only during the night time because climate will be cool during that time, right? Then, uh, they get water from the animals they eat. Third, some of the animals like the camels have got their own adjustments on the body like a fur which can uh, protect them from the hot sun or uh, a specific hump in which they can uh, store the food and water in the form of fat. Right? So these are some kind of features that we cannot see with animals in the usual regions. Okay? So such, in such ways the animals and the plants in the uh, desert region have developed their own adaptations so that they can survive the extreme climatic conditions of a desert. Right? Okay. Now, I'll keep the screen the same for another minute so that we can uh, yeah, read them once again. Okay, so that is the lesson part of uh, the Great Indian Desert. Uh, you can read this lesson and do the activities in the uh, those activities that we have discussed now in the PDF, which is actually attached along with the video lesson. In the next class we will uh, meet again with a new lesson. So till then, stay home, stay safe, take care.